Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. I'm glad you're here. Um, today's gonna be a good one. It definitely is. We're doing something I should have done a long time ago. I, uh, I'm finally gonna be making a bedroom. And we're gonna do some other stuff, too, but that's, that's the big thing. Also, we got some new pets to name. If you guys missed the last episode... It was a good one. Would highly recommend it. We got this guy, and then if we go upstairs, we also have these three dudes. What's up? Say what's up, guys. Oh, do you wanna um? Do you wanna do a little dancing for us? No, he's the he's the only one that likes. <laughs> he's the only one that likes dancing. It seems. But yeah, so today we'll be hanging out with those guys a little bit, and I'll probably be moving them into the bedroom as well. Uh, so why don't we just go ahead and check out the to-do list, see what we're doing today. So I want to do a few things. I want to name the cat that we just got. I want to enchant some more armor sets. You guys know I've been dying to do that. I also want to build a bedroom, which is probably going to take the most time out of the episode. And I also want to move the parrots into the bedroom and play some music in there to celebrate. I finally have a bed to rest in. <laughs> After the last episode with all those phantoms, I, ca I can't do it anymore. I, ga I gotta get a proper bed. It's, uh... It, they're way too annoying. They're way too annoying. So, uh, that is the plan for today. I think I'm gonna start with naming, uh, naming the cat because you guys gave a brilliant name. So here we go. Uh, let's let's go ahead and throw it in. The name you guys suggested is Copper, and I think that is an awesome name because the dog is named Rusty, and the cat is Orange, so we can name it Copper. I I, I just liked it. So so there we go. Copper. The cat, and uh, and it's done. It's done, <laughs> just like that. So, uh, the cat has been named. We still have those birds up there. Uh, I saw a few funny suggestions. Someone was saying, uh, name of Snap, Crackle, and Pop, <laughs> like the uh, the Rice Krispie guys. I don't know. I'll, I'll give it a little more time. I gotta think about names, or we could just go unnameless. That that. No, that would mean they have a name. We could go nameless. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I, I think I want to just go ahead and start working on the bedroom. And it's it's going to be right down here. I don't know if you guys have seen this. You know, you might have caught a glimpse of it. But this right here is going to be my bedroom. Um, it, it's it's a long time in the making. You guys have been asking for it for a while. I just, I just haven't made one. Uh, so this is where it's going to be. It, it's just at the end of the ravine. Um, and it'll be right down in there. And then maybe I was thinking I could also have a pathway that goes up and around, uh, like up to here, if I ever want to build stuff back here. But um, that's that's always a possibility. But, but for now, I'm just going to build this bedroom, and it is going to be fantastic. So uh, the first thing I want to do is set up the entryway. I really just want to make it fit with the rest of the ravine, so I'm going to try to make it seem as though it's like a, a little carved out area. So I'm um, going to get some grass down here, and then I'm going to try to put the, uh, the cobble and all that uh, on the walls. So hopefully it works out. I think I'm on to something, folks. Let's take a peek and see what it looks like. Okay. That's not bad, that's not bad, I'll take that. I, I might make a few changes later, but that is basically what I was trying to do. So, uh, so there's the little pathway, and then I probably should also uh, bring this over a little bit more. You know, make it feel like part of the path. So maybe do something like this, huh? And then bring it down just a little bit more. And, uh, we can go in like that? Yeah? Okay. Feeling it. So we'll keep that. I got the little pathway, got the grass, got the got the cobble, got the cracked stone. It's not looking that bad. So um, there we go. Entrance fixed. Now I got to work on the inside. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in this chest. Uh, I'm just going to go grab everything that I'll need at the start. And we can get working on uh, the interior of this thing. So the first things first, we should probably go ahead and make ourselves a door. Uh, let's just do one out of spruce. That'll probably look good, right? Um, I would probably want it on this block. So there we are. Yeah, door. I like it. We'll keep that. Uh, and now, I, I think I want to just go around the floor and, and kind of at least lay that out. So I'm going to put the floor down and I will be right back. So I got this crazy idea to do something that's like a, a few layers. So this is going to be the floor. It's it's going to be uh, 
Well, it's going to be kind of sloped, I guess. So we'll have stuff in this wall, stuff in that wall, and then the bed right in the middle. And it's got a little, uh, a little divot. So uh, I don't know. Hopefully it works out. Um, but yeah, that's that. Now I think I want to just get rid of all the stone. Uh, and I'll replace it with uh, just regular wall, uh, wood. Probably gonna use the spruce, so, uh, let me get that done. Alright, so that is about done. This is the wall layout I went with, so if, if you wanna uh, copy this down, there's, I think, like, five between these two pillars, and then a little more between those. You get the picture. <laughs> you could just pause and count it, I guess. Also, I don't know if I'll keep this, but I'm thinking it could be kinda cool to have a little window up into the to the cave right there so uh, we'll think about that but this is the room and uh, if you notice I got a whole bunch of bookshelves in my hand and an empty wall I think you guys know what I'm about to do we're about to have a nice little private library hopefully I mean <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this but I have an idea and if it works I'm pretty sure it could look kind of cool so um Give me just a second here. So if we start with something like that, and then I, I, I guess, oh, I see. Okay, no, this is definitely gonna work. This is definitely gonna work. Okay, so we have uh, bookshelves like that, and instead of seeing just the flat bookshelves, you get a little, uh, you get a little uh, depth, I suppose. Um, and then for this top layer, uh, I, I guess I could, hmm, maybe use a full block right there. Then, uh, maybe stairs for the rest of them? Yeah, we could try that. So, have three stairs in the middle and then a full block right there. That is not a bad bookshelf. And then I can also throw these down. Oh, maybe not with that there. Yeah, there we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we got a uh, little armor stands as well. Maybe we pose them, leave that one the way it is. Um, oh, got to shift first. And then maybe put that one like that. Not bad at all. The next thing I want to do is I want to make a little storage area. So, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe right here just have something that kind of resembles a closet. Do something along the lines of that and then maybe have uh, some shelves like that. That doesn't look bad. Uh, and then over here have something similar. But I could try, oh, I could try something kind of cool here. I'm thinking... I could probably, let me see, could I put an armor stand, I can, I can put an armor stand up there, that is a pretty cool idea, and then maybe just have another one like that, yeah, okay, okay, I'm feeling that, so we'll leave that the way it is, and then I'll have to cover that, and that is not bad, is it, oh, oh, okay, one last thing, plop that up there, Okay. Now I got a really interesting idea for this wall. I, I know I wanted to have a jukebox in here, so I, I think I want to try to maybe carve one out, if that makes sense. So, um, ha have a, like a little hole in the wall. The jukebox can go right here, and then maybe I have a chest right here. Oh, not right there. <laughs> no, no, a chest right there to, to put the music discs. This could potentially be pretty solid. Let me, uh, let me break this a little bit, um, and, and think. Oh, oh, I just thought of something. Hold on, can I get out into the cave? I can. That's good. What if I try this as a backdrop? Instead of just using the wood, what if I use these? Make it look a little bit different? Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. And then the jukebox can just sit right there. That is looking pretty solid. That is looking pretty solid. Just imagine. Just imagine there's a jukebox there. Another thing that I think could potentially be cool is what if I were to have some sort of switch? So if I had a redstone uh, lever, maybe right here. What if I, well, okay, let, let's just, let's just think this through. A lever could go, okay, the jukebox is right here. Maybe I just put the lever right there. Now that would power redstone right here. Oh, yes, I can do this. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea, folks. Bear with me. Um, so let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go down one more and let's throw a sticky piston down there. And then, I can push the chest up so you can, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is going to be cool. So the redstone goes from there to there, and then I can, I guess, just bring it down, and it should power the piston, yeah. So let me just give it a go, yup, and then if I were to drop it, the chest goes down there. 
Okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. So we'll leave that. Now, the issue is, is I can see some of this stone, so I gotta get a, a ton of birch back there. Oh, but the problem is, is it flips that down. <laughs> it flips that down every time. So maybe, uh, maybe put it on the floor? I, I don't know. I, I can figure out a different way to, oh. I like it, though. I like it. Oh, maybe I could just put a pressure plate? No, because these are half slabs. But but that could be good for now. And I already have a music disc to throw in there. So that is that wall. Now, I want to climb up here um, and get this, get this glass down. So let me go ahead, grab my brown stained glass. I figured, you know, the brown, make it match a little bit. Um, so I, I guess to do this, I was thinking just kind of wrap it around like that. Maybe want to get rid of that block right there. And then I have four left. I'm one short. I'm one short. <laughs> so sad. Next thing I want to do is I want to set up the roof. So let me grab uh, everything I'll need for that. I just want to use birch. I think I make it look look like one of the normal ones I've done before. So uh, just start out with the ring like so. And now... I can get a little more creative. We got a big space in there we could put lights. Why don't I do why don't I do something like this? So yeah. yeah, I like that actually. I like that. So everything that is not the birch is gonna be a redstone lamp. I mean that's not that bad at all, huh? I like that. So it lights up the room pretty nicely. I'm pretty sure I can afford to get rid of this. Also, uh, the beauty of having slabs on the floors. Check this out. We can we can get a little bit of hidden lighting in here, you know? Uh, there we are. There we are. Uh, I could probably also do that over here uh, a little bit as well. Why not? Um and then maybe over here too. So I think the last thing that I really want to do is set up this back wall. Now I'm gonna have a bed right here, so I'm thinking maybe it makes sense to 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 have a little uh little thing here for a flower pot possibly. I think those are cool decorations. So if I can fit one, yeah. No, this will be cool. This will be really cool. Okay, so let me just go ahead uh, get some blocks back here like that. Yeah, and I can just sneak a flower right in there. That is, uh, that's a nice idea. That'll work out fine. And then over here, why, oh, not what I want to do there. And then right there, we can have a shelf. That looks pretty good. And then that will also give, give us room. So we can go ahead and slap a painting right there. Why don't I do, oh, isn't there one that looks like a flower? Uh, let me, let me try something real quick. There's got to be one that looks like a flower, right? There's got to be. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? I know there is. Yep, that's it. Is that a flower? I don't know. Kind of looks like <laughs> kind of looks like an apple and maybe a, a bigger, really dark green apple. I don't know, <laughs> but we'll take that. So that's the one I'm looking for there. And then I think we'll also, yeah, another really good spot for a painting would be right here. So let me go ahead, block that off, and let's get the ocean one. Yeah, no, not that one. Do not want to have that over me when I sleep. The ocean, yeah. Oh, that's not an ocean. It's like a mountain range. In a sunset, I'll take that. I will take that any day. And that is looking like an interesting wall. It is indeed. So I think I can grab, do I have my thing? No, I don't. Okay, let me go grab uh, that flower pot. So it can go right in there. Oh yeah, that's nice. A nice little splash of color. Um, And then finally, the final thing that I need to do is get this bed down here. So uh, the easiest way to do that, oh, and I can also sneak some light down here too. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? So um, yeah, I need uh, I need the bed. And I also need to grab some wool. Uh, give me just a sec. So I am ready for the finishing touch, folks. I got I got some carpet and, and some wool. I think I want to use blue carpet. Yeah, that looks nice. So blue carpet and a light blue bed. Oh, and I'm one, one short. Hold on just one sec, one sec. There we go. Like there. Oh, that's lovely. And it brings out the color of the flower, too. That's awesome. So I think I think that's it. I think this is a solid room. Now, the one other thing that I might want to do is maybe put some armor on these guys. You know, like uh, some dyed leather armor, possibly. Hmm? Got a little bit of leather here. I could definitely do something with this. So, uh, maybe make... Uh, no, I don't want I don't want leggings. Maybe uh, a cap, yeah? 
And then uh, something for the torso, possibly. Maybe get some orange dye and uh, gray dye. I don't know. I got blue, orange, and gray. That should be fine. Uh, get some water up in here. Let's throw... Um Let's throw the orange in. Let's put the orange on a helmet. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, and then we could also get the blue um, up in there. So the blue could go on the other helmet. And now, I don't know if this is going to mess it up, but what if I were to put the gray in? I think that might be gray. I don't know. We'll find out. So what is, <laughs> what is this going to turn into? Ooh. It's like a... It's like a... Uh, I don't even know what that is. It's like a concrete looking color. Only when the concrete's wet, though. So, like, right when you pour it, that's what it, <laughs> that's what it looks like. So, we do something like that. Yeah, possibly. Uh, I might mix and match and try to find some complementary colors, bring out the accents in the room. But that's that's the basic idea. I don't know if I like how 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 bright that blue is, but you get the picture. So that I think is a, is a finished bedroom. This is looking solid. Can I sleep? No, not nighttime yet. But the respawn point is set. So. Got a nice little, uh, nice little room for when I die. Not too bad. But it's not done yet. It's not done yet. There's one more thing that I need to do, and that, of course, is bring in, uh, bring in the parrots and the jukebox. It might be difficult. Oh, I don't need the bed, actually. I just need, yeah, I just need this thing. And, uh, do I use silk touch? No, I think it should be fine. Oh, and the final thing that I need to do, let me grab the jukebox, get the parrots to come on over, and, uh, we could bring him into the new home it <laughs> might be difficult to sleep with parrots in the room but hopefully minecraft doesn't think so <laughs> so the jukebox can go right there and and the parrots are inside just like that now now can i get them to sit on the uh on the on the armor stands is that a thing can you go onto an armor stand oh you're almost there oh maybe not maybe not so i'll just have you sit down where are your other what and they are mimicking mob sounds like crazy. What's going on? Where are your other friends? Where, where'd the other ones go? Did they go up there? Oh, there they are. What's up? Oh, they were on my shoulders, weren't they? Yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> the thing that would be really cool is if I could get them to sit like on these shelves. I might have to try that off camera, but we have a finally completed room. Let's see if, let's see if all these guys are gonna jam out in here. Oh yeah. There's two of them now. It's two of them. He might be a little too far away. And I can put that down as well. That's a that's a nice little feature. That's a nice little feature. Only problem is it's going to keep switching that. But um, we can work on that. So there we go. A bedroom complete. This is pretty solid. For the first run, not too bad. It's looking uh, looking pretty nice. So the next thing on the list, you guys know, we're working on our armor. We're trying to make nether armor and then also armor for underwater. So, uh, hopefully I can get some good enchantments. Not sure if I will, though. But, um, we, you know, we can try our best. We can try our best. So I got 45 levels, hoping we get something decent. So uh, let's just go ahead and start, see what we get. Projectile, not what I need. Fire protection three though, that could potentially be solid. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'll put that on some legs um, and then hopefully we can upgrade that to fire protection four. That's just straight protection, which is not bad. Which is not bad. What do I have on my current thing? Protection 4. So, if I were to throw this in there, get protection 4, does that mean I could have a super-powered chest plate? No. No, it does not. What if I do it this way? It does if I do it that way. Wait, what? Oh, is protection 4 the highest? Oh, never mind then. Never mind. I guess I just got two protection 4. Ah, oh, I thought. I really thought. Only two more. Only two more full enchantments. Hopefully I get something good unbreaking. Uh, not gonna, gonna get that, so whatever these last two are, I gotta get. Channeling, not the best. And infinity, lure, not what I was looking for. <laughs> So the armor's a little bit better, not not much better, but we got fire protection three on the helmet, fire protection three on the pants, and then regular protection uh, on the shirt. So um, not exactly what I was looking for, but we're getting a little closer. I also got a few extra books. None of them are none of them are really that good. None of them are really that good. I think protection four I might just throw on this for now, and then 
there's one last thing. One last thing that I want to do, and that is I want to switch the color of this beacon. And there are two ways I could do this. A few of you guys suggested something quite interesting, so I'll show you guys what, uh, what I'm talking about here. If I were to come up to this level and put the glass right here, I could... Oh! Okay, that works. <laughs> I could do something like this, where uh, when it goes into the sky, I, I wouldn't put it this low, but I would put it up at the top of the ravine, so anything uh, outside of the ravine is, is like a blue beacon, but inside of the ravine, it's a green one. That uh, could potentially be pretty cool, not gonna lie, that could be solid. Or, I could just make it cyan from the bottom, because I think that, I, I don't know, I, it makes more sense when it's coming out of the water for it to be blue, in my opinion, but um, I could just have it be cyan, coming straight up the whole way. And I think this makes a little more sense, because it's coming out of the water, you know, that's the logic behind that, the, the light coming from the water's blue, but, I don't know, you guys can decide, let me know what you think, leave it in the comment, actually, Actually, I'll have a poll. I'll put it in a poll so you guys can vote. Just look at the top right of the video, hit that little card, and uh, let me know. Would you rather have the two-tone beacon or just the straight blue? Um, yeah, that's, uh, there's a big decision. Big decisions being made. And the final thing before I go, I want to make a few buttons here. I think four is how many I'm going to need. Uh, some of you guys have been suggesting that I <laughs> change the, uh, the pressure plates inside of the farm. Y you're, yeah, you're probably right. Because the way these are set up right now, anyways, I, 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 <laughs> I could just walk over them and accidentally trigger them. So, I think the, the thing that makes a little more sense is to have a button. I'm pretty sure it should still work the same way. What? Hello? Is that, uh, is that not working? Oh, right, uh, right, 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 right. I need to, oh, oh, let me fix this, please. Thank you. This needs to be a full block. That's, uh, that's what was missing. So now, if I were to do this, yeah, yeah. It, it, much better, much better than the pressure plate. So that's what we'll be doing with that. <laughs> Get this one, too, and this one, too. May as well just put two buttons, you know, to make it symmetrical. But, um, there we are. Not too bad. Also, before I go, uh, I do have to mention something. So, remember in the last episode when I needed to get string to make a fishing rod and it took forever um, just because I wanted to get a fish to find an ocelot? Um, well, thank you guys for, for letting me know that I could have just went sword fishing uh, and just killed a fish. Probably would have taken less than a minute. Instead, I <laughs> searched endlessly for spiders. It was actually like 20 minutes, not even gonna lie. A lot of it was cut out of the video. Uh, I, was, I was searching for for the spiders to get, to get string to make a fishing rod so that then I could fish, it, it, which also took a whole bunch of time. All I had to do was jump in the water and slice a salmon or slice a cod. It, I, I don't even, I don't even know sometimes. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. But yeah, I'll know better next time. <laughs> so, on that note, oh, oh, we're starting a new subscriber wall today. So, I'm going to wipe this one out. You guys are all going to end up in that book. Let us check out the new subscribers for today's episode. And there they are WYZ Gaming, Keanu King, Mr. Valiant, and Jason. Weghella? I don't know if I pronounced that right. But thank you guys for your comments, for your support. I appreciate it. Um, and as always, if, if you're looking to get on the wall, just keep commenting. It'll happen eventually. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's that for this episode. Big episode today. I made a bedroom. It, it actually turned out pretty solid, if I do say so myself. If you guys have any suggestions uh, on things to add, I, I probably want to make this look cooler outside. Why are you mimicking the sand sounds? What even, what even is that? <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't want parrots in my room. Anyways, um, I think that's just about it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, uh, for watching the video, for sticking through the whole thing. I appreciate it. I'll talk Talk to you all later, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.